everybody and welcome back to the art social this is going to be my episode number one and I'm extremely excited to get this house painting going but I do want to address a couple things before we start so first things first is instead of on Sundays we're going to have the videos release on Friday that way it's gonna give you uh, enough time to get the supplies that you need for uh, the weekend Second thing is those supplies will be listed in the description below the uh, video. So if you look below, you're going to see a list of supplies that you're going to need for today. Um, as for today, we're going to need a couple things. And I want to let you know that you're going to need an 8 by 10 this 8 by 10 canvas. You're going to need three brushes. And I suggest you use a thicker brush, a medium brush, and a very tiny brush, okay? Those are the three that we're going to need. Make sure that you have a cup of water and maybe some paper towel on the side just so that we can rinse in between the colors. And uh, last but not least, we're going to need some acrylic paint. We're gonna need five colors. We're gonna have blue, white, green, black, and red. So blue, white, green, black, and red. So those colors are gonna be needed for this painting. So I know you guys are just as excited as me. So how about we get started on this wonderful, wonderful painting. And I'm going to start with my large, wide paintbrush. This one right here. Okay, so it's flat, it's wide, and this here is going to be doing the background. So we're gonna start with making the beautiful sky that goes in the background here, okay? So first of all, I'm going to start with uh, some blue. So dip your paintbrush, your wide paintbrush, in the blue. Don't be afraid to put some paint on there, okay? I've got about this much. And we're gonna start at the top. And I'm gonna go side to side to side. Don't lift your hand off of the canvas when you're doing it because you don't wanna leave a mark in the middle, okay? So we're just gonna start at the top, simple enough, side to side to side to side. If you get it on your table or anything like that, um, just make sure that maybe you have a garbage bag under or some newspaper, unless your table, like me, is made for painting. That way we can do that. So go back and forth and back and forth like this. If you need to add some more paint, add some more paint. I just added some more to my brush. So I just need you to go back and forth like this, okay? Just at the top. So we have this nice little line of paint here. Okay. Sometimes I need to um, dab because I have a few little spots that are gonna stay white. Um, so I wanna go over and I wanna dab onto those so that they stay um, blue, not white. And then once I dab onto it, it left kind of a, like a gritty design. I don't want that. So I'm gonna go back and forth over top of my dab, okay? So I got some white here, let's dab it, and then back and forth to give it that nice, smooth look, okay? So once you're done with this, you notice it's just a big line at the top. The reason why I'm only getting you to do um, this part here is because the next part, I want it to be a little bit lighter. So in order to lighten up your, uh, your paint, usually um, you would use it with a white paint. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use some more blue and I'm going to very slightly dip it in the white. Okay, so as you can see, just so that it mixes together on the page and we're gonna go underneath what we did and we're gonna do it again. Okay, if you don't have enough, add some more. Okay, back and forth, don't be afraid. Dab, 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 I need to dab it a little bit and go back and forth. this you see how it went from a little bit of a darker blue to a lighter blue because I've got some white in there I'm gonna dip a little bit in my white here 
And I'm going to add a little bit of, just a little bit of white here and there and here. Okay. And then I'm going to blend it in. So you guys are going to notice that in my paintings, I do a lot of blending. It's because it, it, it's very smooth with the colors and it looks really nice. And when you look at the sky, is the sky always going to be just blue? No. The sky is going to have different hues. So the hues are going to be different types of blue. So when you look at the sky, it's going to have some blue. It's going to be a little bit blue and white. Maybe some of the clouds are, are blending into the sky. And that's what it's looking like right there, okay? So now we're going to go a little bit further with that same design. We're, we're going to try to stay with this light blue. So I'm going to dip in my blue here and a little bit in my white again and I'm gonna go another layer down okay back and forth as you can see it left some some white here that's because I didn't put enough on my paintbrush so I'm gonna go back for some more and back and forth you're gonna hear me say that a lot back and forth and back and forth <laughs> it's because you really need to blend in those colors nicely so you go back and forth like this. I'm gonna go down a little bit more. Oh, I still don't have enough paint on my brush. Dip some more. There you go. All right. I'm gonna dab because I have some white spots. And I'm gonna continue going like this. Okay. So continue going down. Go to about halfway on your your canvas, and that'll be good. Uh, dab on those, dab on those, and then smooth it out, okay? So I'm about halfway through my canvas, and I've got a beautiful sky there. So I'm only gonna go down to probably about here. Okay, because down below is going to be the grass for our little house. But we're going to put the house on a little hill. So we're, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to outline where I want to keep, where I want to end the sky and where I'm going to start my hill. So I'm going to make a hill going like this, like that. And we're going to finish it like that. The house is going to go on top of the hill. And then everything under this blue line is going to be green, okay? That's where we're going to make all the grass. So over top of this line, I want you to take some of the white. And you already have some blue on your paintbrush. So if you put a lot of white on your paintbrush with the blue that you already have on it, you're going to go back and forth here and it's going to, it's going to be very light blue, okay? You see that? You see how it went very light compared to up here? So you've got dark turning into lighter, a little bit lighter, boom, very light, okay? So that's what we want. We're gonna go back and forth down here, okay? When you get to this part, you're gonna blend like this. So you're gonna have a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. We're gonna blend it. And you're gonna round out like this, okay? So round up, up, down, up, down, just like that, okay? I want you up, down, like you're doing a hill, okay? And I'm gonna dab here, I'm gonna dab there. We're gonna do that, perfect. All right, so right now, you've already done your sky. It looks pretty good, right? I'm pretty impressed. It's getting along. So what we're gonna do next is, I don't know if you guys wanna have some clouds in here. Maybe we can do some clouds. So what I'm gonna do is I've already got this brush full of white, so I'm gonna use it again. And I'm gonna dip a little bit in the white right here. And I want one cloud. So I'm gonna put the cloud up here in the top right corner and up here should be almost dry by now. Acrylic paint dries pretty fast. So then we're going to dab. You're not gonna rub, you're not gonna go back and forth, you're gonna dab. So dab and 
do kind of like the shape of a, a cloud that you see. So this is my cloud. That's what I want my cloud to look like. I see some blue inside of my cloud. I don't want to see blue inside my cloud. So I'm going to add more white to it just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay. So you can copy me and do it right here on the top right. Or you can do your own thing and you can put it on the top left. You could put it in the middle. It's up to you. So I want my cloud at the top right. There you go. All right. So that's what I want. When I have some paint left on my paintbrush and I don't want to use the paint that's on it, I, I go like this on my board so as you can see I'm using a piece of construction uh, not construction paper a piece of cardboard and I like to use a piece of cardboard because when I'm done with it I can just throw it in the garbage a lot of people use paper plates when I do paint socials with my friends at the daycare I use paper plates and that's also uh, a good thing to do as well then you can just throw it out um, some people actually buy pallets which is um, it's like a little plate that has sections in it so that you can put different colors. That's also really cool to have and you can wash it when you're done and reuse it for next time. Okay, so right now I'm using my cardboard to just go like this here because I want to take some of the paint off of here, the excess paint that I have. So rub it like this just to get some of the paint off. Okay, so now um, because you had some white on it, it's perfectly fine to go into an, another color. So I'm gonna do some green for the background here. It's gonna be the hill. So we're gonna go over top of this part here and we're gonna follow that line that makes the hill and we're gonna go all the way down in green. So take that, uh, that uh, paintbrush that you wiped down the excess paint off of and you're going to dip into the green. So you can see right there. Okay, put some on. And I'm gonna go back and forth, up and down, and up and down, okay? If you need to, um, instead of going like this right here with the flat part, if you need to twist it so you can get it skinny, so you can get this top part right here, then go for it. If you touch the blue, that's okay. It'll just blend in, it'll be just fine. See, I touch the blue and it doesn't even, you can't even tell, okay? So I'm gonna dip it in and I'm gonna keep going, okay? Back and forth. All right. This is your hill. Big, nice, grassy hill for a wonderful little house that we're gonna be making. Back and forth, and back and forth, all the way down. Keep putting some paint on there. There we go. Dab, 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 dab if you need to, and then pass back over. All right. There we go. Now we got ourselves a nice little grassy hill. Pretty cute, right? Okay. Once you're done this, um, I'm gonna get you guys to let the back, uh, we're gonna keep um, this background to dry. And then once this is dry, we can do the next step. It doesn't take long to, um, to dry acrylic paint. So what you're going to do is you're just gonna go maybe have a snack or play with your friends or your sister, your brother, anybody. And you're gonna come back to this and maybe give it 10 minutes. Um, and we'll be able to do the next part, which is going to be, as you know it, the house. Okay, so let's give it 10 minutes and I'll come back. Hi, my friends, and welcome back. You guys should have a pretty dry painting by now. The background should be all good and done. Um, so I went out and got myself a little snack. I came back. I'm all good to go for this. So we're going to start the next step. Okay, so with that, we're gonna start the house. So I wanna put our house on this side of the hill 
And I'm gonna tell you why after, cause we're gonna add something on the left, okay? So I'm going to add my house here. You guys know how to make a house. I'm sure you guys have done it before. You do a line going up straight like this, go on the other side, you do another line going up straight like this, and you do it like a triangle over top for the roof, right? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do with this here. So take some of your white, make sure it's not the white that's been mixed with the blue. You don't want some of the blue in there. So take some of your white, and now I'm going to make a line right here. It might not be the straightest line, that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to do a line hmm, right, right here. All the way down to the grass. Okay, so start with that and then go back and dip. And when you're ready, you can do the roof. Okay, so I'm gonna do my roof like this. Uh, and like this. There you go. So this is the first outline of my house. And when you are done doing the outline, I'm gonna tell you to go ahead inside of it and you're going to color the entire inside white. So take that brush and color inside, okay? Hi, my friends. All right, so I'm back and ready to start doing the details inside the house. At this point, I have taken the brush that I used to paint white inside of my house and I washed it really fast and I took a towel and I just squeezed it a little bit to dry it out and it's good to go for the next round. So with this paintbrush, I'm going to do the red door and I'm going to do the red frames for the window, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing today um, with the red. Also, um, we're gonna, so, we're gonna have one door, we're gonna have two windows on each side. The door is gonna be red and only the frame of these windows are going to be red. Inside the windows, it's gonna be black because maybe it's dark inside the house, okay? So we're gonna start with our red. So I'm gonna take some of this beautiful red right here and I don't wanna to put too, too much on my brush because I don't wanna make a mistake, okay? I don't want it to be super thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a rectangular door. So I'm gonna do it in the middle of the house. Nice straight line going down like this. And I'm gonna get some more paint. And I'm just gonna do another line like this. And I might do another one there you go so now fill all this in with a with your red and don't show any white through there okay so get the door to go all the way down to the green and just like that and once you have this part done we'll move on to the windows okay so I'm just gonna go like this so some doors on houses um, have a round top on it. Some are rectangles. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a completely round door. I, I never have. That would be quite interesting. Um, but I'm going to choose this rectangular door right here. So that's what I'm gonna do for that. Now we're going to move on to the windows. So the windows, I only wanna do the top and the bottom of the sh uh, of the windows in red and we're gonna do the sides in a black, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a, the window's gonna be tall, so we're gonna have it start up here like this and I'm gonna do one top of the window like that and it's gonna go all the way to here. There you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go do one here. And one here. There you go. 
So as an artist, as you're painting, you're going to realize sometimes that as you're painting, your ideas are gonna just go through your mind and you're gonna to wanna to change something up. That's okay because it is your painting. You're gonna learn in time that no painting is the same, none whatsoever. So your painting is probably definitely not gonna look exactly like mine, nobody's will, okay? That's just how it works when you paint. So what I'm getting at here is we're going to do, um, I said the sides are gonna be black, but I think I want all around to be, to be red. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna flip it over to the skinny part and I'm going to make a very skinny line going from this window down to that window and this window frame going down to this one here, okay? My lines aren't straight, that's perfectly fine. It's not like I'm using a, a ruler while I'm painting, right? It's close enough. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. This side, all the way down, and this side, all the way down. I think that looks way better than it would be if it was black. So do that, just like that, okay? All right. So I think we're ready for um, filling in the windows with some black because it's dark inside and we're gonna do the doorknob and we're gonna outline the house and we're going to outline the door and that should be it. So let's see here. I'm going to use a different uh, paintbrush. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep this paintbrush. We're gonna clean off the red I'm gonna grab my cup here. I'm gonna clean off the red, and then we're going to use the black on this one to go inside the windows. Okay, so it, it still looks a little red, but it's just, it's stained, okay? So I'm gonna use some of the black, and I'm gonna go inside the windows, and I'm going to just fill in the inside of the windows black. Okay, just like that. Oh, I missed a little part at the bottom. I'm gonna fill that in right there. Perfect. I'm gonna do another streak. There we go. I'm gonna do another one here. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the next one right here. And I'm gonna finish off the other window. Um, if it was bright inside, you could always leave it white. It's up to you. Uh, I do like the black because it shows that there's there's something there. It's not the house, it's, it's a window. So that's what I like about this, okay? So I'm going to put down this brush because I am done with this brush for today, okay? So I'm gonna put it aside and we're going to grab my skinny brush, the one I had from earlier, here. Skinny, there you go. So with this, I'm gonna just dab a little bit in my black, okay? We got black on the tip right there. And I'm just gonna do one little dot for my doorknob, all right? So that, once that's done, I'm going to do this right here. And we're lining the sides. See, now that we're done coloring the inside, we can outline and it's not going to mix the colors together. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the other side. All the way down like this. When you're done that, I want you to outline your house now, okay? So that white go all around it, okay? Up like this. Add some more paint if you run out of paint as you go, okay? 
and we'll go down like this. There we go. And then I'm going to do the sides down here. Perfect. And I just about ran out of paint down there, but I made it work. So I'm going to dip it in again, and I'm going to do the left side. Perfect. Now you got yourself your little house right there. And I'm going to wipe off that black. And we're going to do the... Um, the next step once you're done that. So the next step for me is the the white on the house looks a little plain so I'm gonna put some lines to make it look like the siding that I was talking about earlier, okay? So I lied, we're gonna go back to the other paintbrush. There's a lot of back and forth but the last time you use this paintbrush you use black so that's okay because that's what we're gonna use now. The only thing is we're going to, um, I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to mix it together and make like a, a light gray. Okay. So black, white, and mix it together. You're going to notice in my videos, we're going to be blending a lot of colors together. Okay. That's okay. You guys are learning how to make different colors with only a few different little colors. I only had four colors on my board. Now I have more. Okay, I have a light blue here, I have a dark blue there, I now have uh, a gray here. So you'll learn in time that you can blend all the colors you need with just a few colors, okay? So with this gray, I don't want a really thick amount on my paintbrush. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lightly, very lightly make my first line at the top, okay? Then you're gonna go down and make another line. And I'm gonna go back in my gray. I'm gonna do another line. And I'm gonna do that all the way to the bottom of the house, okay? And I'm gonna go like this. Your lines don't have to be straight. They never will be. You're not using a ruler. You're not drawing, you're painting. So squiggly lines are perfectly fine. Okay, if you run out of gray, grab some more of that white and some more of that uh, that black and make some more, okay? All right, so here I go, I'm gonna do this. Now make sure not to go through that window. Stop at the window and go to the other side. And that door too, okay? Like this, like this, like this, like this. So I'm going in between all of the obstacles. You're not going to have siding on top of the windows, are you? You're never going to be able to see outside. Also, through the door, if you put siding over top of the door, what's going to happen? Not going to be able to get in, not going to be able to get out. That'll be a problem. All right, there you go. So I've got some really nice lines there to make a really pretty uh, siding. So. I think my house is missing a little bit of a something and I'm gonna say that I want a chimney. What do you guys say? Let's make a chimney. Since I already have some gray, how about we keep, we make the chimney gray. So it'll be like a stone chimney. And all you have to do, it's very simple. I'm gonna go up here on the left side of my house and I'm gonna do one line going down like this. There you go. And make it maybe a little bit thicker. There you go. And then I'm going to take my small uh, little paintbrush over here and I'm gonna go in my black and I'm gonna outline it like I did the house. So like this, like this. I'm gonna do this. See, we didn't have a, um, we didn't have a chimney in place for our first idea, but I decided I wanna have some, 
uh, a little chimney up there because it looked like there was something missing there. So it's up to you. Um, also, some people might think that this is a big space that's missing something and you could add a window there if you wanted to. So uh, possibilities are endless and I say use your imagination and do what feels comfortable for you, okay? I have some people in uh, my paint social uh, lessons that have changed something completely differently because they really enjoyed what it looked like it, with their idea. So that's perfectly okay and I encourage you to do that. So next we're going to do what I said we were gonna do on this side over here. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm going to take my um, my flat little brush here. We're gonna use this brush a lot. This is a lot of our main stuff. Um, so earlier when I said we were done using it, I lied. <laughs> it's bound to happen. So I'm going to mix um, a little bit of red in here and I'm gonna take this little dot of black and I'm gonna mix it in and it's gonna be like a darkish brown which is what I want. So brown is going to make a wonderful tree trunk. You guessed it. Okay, so I've got this wonderful brown here that I mixed up. I don't know if you're able to see this, but I mixed a little bit of the red and a little bit of the black and it became kind of like a brown right here. Okay, so once you make this brown, I'm gonna get you to take this and I'm gonna go at the bottom here and I'm gonna make a line going up, okay? And then I'm gonna turn my brush around to make it a little bit skinnier and go up with my brush like that. You see how I got a little skinny? Now, if there's some white in there, let's cover up that white. There we go. Tree trunk thick at the bottom and very skinny at the top, just like a normal tree. The tree trunk doesn't go big all the way to the top of the tree, right? No, I didn't think so. So I want my tree about that big and I think that's good enough for me. Now I'm going to very quickly remove some of the brown from my paintbrush. And well, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm pressing it between a paper towel and that'll be just fine for me because now we're gonna add some green to it, okay? It doesn't have to actually be thoroughly cleaned with water. Um, so we're gonna do it this way. And now I'm gonna use this green that we used for um, the grass and we're gonna go ahead and make some leaves and I'll show you how to do that. So put a generous amount. Generous means you're gonna put lots on your brush, okay? And then you're gonna go with this and I want you to start at the bottom, but not all the way at the bottom. The leaves don't go all the way at the bottom of a tree. So start about here. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna dab and I'm gonna make a line going across like this. Okay, dab, 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 just like that, okay? Now that's gonna be the bottom of your tree. I'm gonna put some more paint and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it again, but a little bit shorter this time. We're gonna make like a triangle going up, okay? Like a Christmas tree, I guess, or um, a pine tree. So that's what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna go a little bit shorter this time again. Go like this. And I'm gonna keep going shorter and shorter as I go up, okay? So dab, dab, dab. Don't forget, you gotta just dab, dab, dab. And I'm gonna bring it all the way up to here, just like that, okay? Now, if you wanna add a little bit of leaves that are sticking out this way or this way, just like that. That's perfectly fine because trees aren't perfect, right? All right, so I like how skinny it is at the top. I think it looks kind of cute. And I'm gonna dab a little bit more like this. And like that, perfect. All right, so I got my tree down. I'm gonna put that down like that. Okay, so this here was a nice um, painting that we, w we wanted to do for a little bit. I know some of my friends wanted to make a nice house painting. I hope you guys really like this. And I see um, 
that uh, I have the one cloud and to me it looks a little like maybe we could have added another cloud that's up to you you can always uh, grab your white paint and you can add another cloud uh, you can add the Sun if you wanted to that's completely up to you so um, for this tutorial of the house I hope you guys really ended up liking it I had a lot of fun doing this with you guys and I will catch you in the out clip. So we'll see you in a minute. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. I had so much fun doing it. I hope to see you guys uh, next Friday on September 4th. Uh, I will have a list of um, supplies in the description to let you guys know exactly what we're doing that day. It's gonna be a surprise. I hope to see you all then. And um, until then, just remember, stay creative. Bye guys.